Hey, so we have got this challenging looking problem on the board. We have x squared equals ln x to the fourth. I'm gonna to try to solve this with the Lambert W function. This is gonna be part of that playlist. I'll provide a link in the description for the playlist and for the introduction video if you need more information on the Lambert W function. So to start with, so we wanna use this function over here, this um, formula, Lambert W x e to the x equals x, because this is really our way in these exponential problems to simplify the problem. And the first problem I see here is we don't have a, technically don't have an E in the problem, so we're gonna to need to kind of create that. What I can do is let's divide both sides by X squared. And then if I do that on the left side, we'll have a one. And then we'll write, I'm gonna, when I divide on the, on the right side, we're gonna write this as X to the minus two power, ln X to the fourth. And that's gonna allow me to create the E because we'll focus on just this term. And we'll rewrite that as E to the ln x to the negative two. We'll move our ln x4 over here. And that's gonna equal one. And then we can just by our property of natural log, we can move this here and this, oh, not all the way up there. We can move it here. <laughs> um, but that's gonna create one issue that we need to note. So when we do that, so we're gonna to need to have absolute values around here because when we do this, you'll notice that afterward, once we just have ln x, it can't be negative, but when we have the fourth on it, it can be negative. So we need to have two cases. So we're gonna have case one, where x is greater than zero. And then, so knowing that x is greater than zero, we can actually do this. We can write this as f one, um, sorry, one equals four ln x, e to the minus two ln x. And you'll notice we're actually getting pretty close to this where we have, you know, on both sides of the E, we have the natural log. We just have a difference of a constant. But fixing this four is gonna be real easy because all we need to do, we can multiply by minus a half on here. I, if I had space, I would write it over there. Or right, multiply minus a half on the right and a minus a half on the left. So then we're gonna have minus a half equals uh, minus two ln x e minus two ln x. And that's gonna be perfect because these two are exactly the same. So we'll use our best friend over here. So what I've done now is I've applied the Lambert W function on both sides and I've um, actually flipped, the, flipped it around. I flipped the right side and put it on the left. And so doing this now, we have our equivalent entries here in red. So then we can root this as minus two ln x is gonna equal just Lambert W minus one half. You can then divide by minus two on both sides. Our minus twos here are gonna cancel, and then we can just rewrite the x using the property of natural log and raise it to an e power. So, so then we're gonna have x equals e to the minus, then we're w minus a half, and then I think I'll take this half and we'll rewrite it as a square root around the whole expression. So what you may want to do at this point is you might want to check is this a real solution and what, what is this in a, uh, if we get a decimal value for this. So looking at our graph of the Lambert W function, the graph shows us where our real values are. Okay, so this is where like we can find our nice real values, just finding points on this graph. And so we notice that all of our real values start at minus one over E, which is around minus 0 0.368. The problem here is minus a half is minus 0 0.5. So this value we're trying to plug in to the Lambert W function is somewhere in here, and all these values out here are complex. So then just for our case one, we're gonna have no real solution. So we'll just reject this case one as not, uh, it's not gonna work for a real solution. Okay, so next we'll look at our case two when x is less than zero. We'll rewrite this, we're gonna have one equals, we'll still remember we moved our four to the front of the ln x, but now because we're saying x is less than zero, we need to put a minus sign on there to negate that. So then that way our input on the natural log function is still positive. And then, okay, and then doing the same thing here, basically we have our minus two ln x, but again, we'll negate that so that we have a positive value when x is less than zero. And then real quick, we're gonna do the same steps basically we did before. We're gonna multiply minus a half on both sides. 
Now we have the input the way we want it. We have our minus two ln negative x, so we're in the exact right form to use our Lambert w function again. So we'll apply the Lambert w function on both sides. We'll have our minus a half, Lambert w of minus a half again. We'll apply it here. Then, again, I'm just gonna flip sides, and so this will produce minus two ln negative x equals Lambert W minus one half. We'll multiply minus a half here and minus a half here. So that'll cancel. Then we'll raise to the uh, natural log. So we're gonna have, let's bring it over here. So we'll have minus X equals E to the minus W minus a half. Again, I'll take my half and write it as a square root. Divide by negative one on both sides. So have a negative there. So we're left with x is going to equal this thing. But what you notice is we run into the exact same situation again here. When we go to calculate this, our Lambert W function is this is minus 0 0.5. And we need to get a real solution. We need it to be greater than negative 1 over e, which is 0 0.3, negative 0 0.368. So again, we have no real solution. So in both cases, no real solution. And so there's going to be no solution in the real numbers. Let's take a quick look at the graph to see kind of what happened though. I thought the graph of this was really interesting. We have our x squared in red, just a parabola. And then we have our ln x to the fourth, which is like it makes this like wine glass around the parabola. So you see that it comes really close in a couple of points on the, on the positive and negative side. I forget what that is. I think it's like 1.5 or something less than 2. So yes, I just thought it was interesting that the graph came really close, but there was no intersection point. So we'll stop it there, no real solutions. I got this problem from my quiz, Lambert W Challenge. I'll put a link in the description. Hope you check that out. Thanks.